Ewan, it is, ah, look at you, buddy. You look you? great. It's good to see I'm, you. I'm happy to see you. Um, where were you when everything shut down? Were, were you working on anything at the I time? I was in New York. I was working on this series called Holston. Um, and I'd been in New York. We'd shot about one episode out of five, and there were bits of two and three. So we were less than halfway through it. And oh. then, um, you know, we were shooting, and we were hearing all this talk on set about other, other films being shut down. And we were thinking, well, why are we not being shut down? What, what do we, what? And then, of course, it came one Friday. They, they shut us down, literally, but we thought, at that stage, was going to be for two or three weeks. I totally agree, yeah. So it was like two, three weeks, go home. So I left a bunch of my stuff in New York and I um, flew back here to LA. And here we are, like six months later. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, what kind of things you've been doing while you've been home? Well, I've, you know, I've just been keeping busy doing... I did a whole bunch of stuff that I've been meaning to do around the place, like things that you haven't... Things that you go, I'll get to that. Picking up a tree that fell over or <laughs> I've lost a, I lost a trailer down a hill. I, I had to get... I towed that out. Things that had been on my to-do list for years, you know, played a lot of guitar. I actually, I, I found you playing Tender with Blur on, 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 the, on the interwebs. You saw that? Oh my God, I watched it over and over. It's so good. How great are, uh, I just asked them to do it. They were here and I go, I love Tender so much. Do you want to, uh, how'd, you, how'd you stumble onto that I just, one? I don't know, I was just trying to learn the chords for it and I was looking on YouTube to, See, you know, I was watching them play, and then I saw you guys. I was thinking, wait a minute. So I looked at it, and now I can't watch you over and over. Just, I, I, what I loved about it is you just looked like you were having so much fun. It was the best. It you was were just great. playing if you, with Blur. If you, look was, at, if you look at Damon, uh, Damon's face, uh, he starts laughing because he's l looking at how much fun I'm having. I'm like, and I'm hitting harmonies and stuff. And he's like, you're doing the high stuff. Yeah, you're I'm so trying. I'm trying really hard. He's face, laughing at me. <laughs> Playing over here. Oh, that's so great, cool. man. We gotta it's do it. So cool. We gotta do a duet when you come back. Oh, I'd love that. I'd love to any excuse really to get the guitar out. You know, I'd love it. Yeah. Uh, uh, last time you were here, you just finished a motorcycle trip with uh, uh, your buddy Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Uh, now it's yeah. a series on Apple TV Plus. Long way up. It debuts Friday. Uh, what can we expect for this? We did a couple of other big trips in the past called Long Way Round and Long Way Down. And we, in 2004, we rode from London all the way around to New York. I remember, East, the, yeah. And that was epic. And then we did the African continent from the top of Scotland to Cape Town in 2007. And, um, you know, there's been this long gap in between, but we always planned to do the Americas. And um, so we started, we, we, had, we did an odd, we prepped it all in LA and London and then shipped everything down to Ushuaia in the bottom of Tierra del Fuego to start, which was such a palava, but we had to call it Long Way Up, you know, because we'd already done Long Way Down. The common sense thing would be to leave LA and ride south, but we, because we had to call it Long Way Up, we had to start down, down there. Down and go up. Then we shipped everything down there, and we rode all the way back up to LA, and it was amazing. And uh, we did it all on electric motorcycles. We, we decided to try and do this one on electric bikes. And Harley Davidson took their beautiful live wire motorcycle and built these two prototypes into sort of adventure bikes for us. They raised the suspension and, um, or they lengthened the suspension, they raised the bike, put different seats on and panniers and a screen. And we had these proper dual sports bikes. It was wicked. You said that this is the most challenging motorcycle trip that you've ever done. Uh, what, what was one of the more challenging parts of it? I think the, chal the, the challenge was the charging of the bikes. You know, we're, we're, we're in the cusp of, um, I know electric cars are everywhere. There are electric charging stations for cars in most cities, especially in America, it's quite easy to do, to navigate. But in, in um, the Atacama Desert or, or Patagonia, for instance, there aren't any charging stations. So oh, of course. We, had to sort of, we had to sort of do the best we could. It was pretty stressful, the charging, but it added a certain excitement to the trip, a different kind of adventure, you know, it was good. Uh, how, how do you like uh, electric versus gas powered? I love it. I love, I love riding them. They're really fast. I mean, they're away from the lights. They are so much faster than a petrol bike. And um, really? they're just, they're sort of, not, for a touring bike, they're quite nice because they don't make any noise and there's no vibrate, mechanical vibration. So you really feel the road. There's sort of a sort of tranquility to riding them, which is nice. You'd ride them a bit slower because you've got to get the, you've got to try and get the most miles out of the battery as you can. 
Yeah. And so you don't want to be sitting at 90 miles an hour, but um, that, that lends itself for touring anyway. You want to be able to take in the landscape and look at, look at the llamas as you go by, you know? And also the llamas don't run away. So when you come up on a petrol bike to a, horses or some wildlife, they ah. scatter. But when you come up on an electric bike to the llamas, they just, they just sort of check you out. They don't run off. I wouldn't even think of that. You're right. I remember mm. I, I was lucky enough to go on a hot air balloon uh, ride uh, yeah. in, 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 uh, in, in, in Africa. And when we went over the animals, you're just floating and it's quiet. And so the animals don't even really know you're there. They just think you're a bird. Yeah. So you're just like, oh, my goodness, this is unbelievable. So Amazing. that's probably the, kind of the same thing. It's not as loud. So once they do, yeah. <laughs> then they ran. And, you know, yeah. yeah. Then you're like, right. then it wasn't as peaceful. It, it's hot air balloon is not as peaceful as everyone says it is. It's the landings. The landings aren't quite as peaceful as the landings are pretty terrifying. Dude, it was awesome. so I'm like, it's so hit and miss, isn't it? So I'm like, well, I hope it's going to be okay. Yeah, we're all tumbling out of a basket. I go, this is not how I want to go. <laughs> Dragged across the savanna, being oh. chased by leopards. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, that must have been unbelievable, just listening to the, the tire on the road and just going, we're going, man, we're cruising. Yeah. I mean, we got down there, and we, we're not very good. We're not very clever at planning, Charlie and I. We like looking at bikes and pictures. You know, we love buying the kit, you know, getting the right panniers and the right gloves and the right boots. And yeah. That's what we're really into, all the kit, you know, the stuff. But the actual planning of the trip we're a bit lame at. So we got down there to Terra del Fuego. And uh, it was a blizzard, and we were snowed in for four days before we could leave because it was still winter. And I spoke to my dad on the phone. He was like, well, you might have looked at the weather before you left, son, you know. <laughs> thinking, yeah, yeah. He's got a point. I should have had a look at the weather because it was blizzard conditions. You're like, I'm and, too busy um, thinking about waited. the bike and the gloves and the thing. and the yeah. I got really nice panniers, dad. Look at my panniers. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but we waited for a break in the weather, and on the fifth day, it stopped snowing a bit, and we just left we just got out on the road it was fun uh, i want to show uh everyone a clip here is a look at long way up on apple tv plus check it out i'm gonna hold on through your pillar i once was in a taxi cab in new york and a hell's angel came up to the car like this put his hand through the window and he said take me to the hell's angel club taxi guy was like okay put your put your rear window down and i'll hold on through there Go slowly. Okay, slowly. I'll hold the other way, maybe, you in. No, I've got it, I've got it. You got it? Yeah. Slowly, slowly, that's it, good. Okay, go. Can you help me out faster? Yeah, go a bit faster. Oh, yeah, that's good. Good, good, good. This is working, it's working.